In an examination, 78% of the candidate passed in English, 67% passed in mathematics, 10% failed in English and mathematics both. Find the pass percentage of those who passed in both the subject. Here, 78% of students who passed in English and 67% who passed in Maths. 10% students who failed in both English and Maths. Now, this combined data is for failed students. So, we need to find percentage of students who failed in English as well as in Maths. Here, 78% passed in English means 22% that is 100 minus 78, 22% failed in English. And same way, 67% passed in maths means remaining 100 minus 67, 33% failed in maths. Now we have the failed students data. Let's draw the Venn diagram here. Here, this intersection is for combined data. That is 10% students who failed in both who failed in both English and Maths. Now, this 22% students who failed in English include this 10% students who failed in English and Maths. So, here, students who failed English only will be 22 minus 10 percentage which is equal to 12 percentage because this 22 percentage include this 10 percentage as well that is students who failed English means students who failed English only as well as students who failed English and math. Same way this 33 percentage students failed in maths means this include this 10 percentage students as well. So, students who failed maths only is 33 minus 10 percentage which is equal to 23 percentage. Now, we can find those who passed in both the subject because students who passed Students who passed maths only will be included under students who failed English only. Students who passed maths only will be included under students who failed English only. So that means the remaining students, the remaining, that is percentage of students who passed in both English and Maths is equal to total is 100 minus the data of students who failed Maths only is 23 percentage plus students who failed English only is 12 percentage plus students who failed both English and Maths is 10 percentage. So which is equal to 100 minus this is 23 plus 10, 33 plus 10, 43, 45. So, which is equal to 55 percentage. So, option B is your answer.